A parallel plate capacitor consists of two metal plates, each of area 10 cm squared and separated by a 1.2 mm air gap. If the two plates hold positive 3 nanocoulombs and negative 3 nanocoulombs, find A, the magnitude of the electric field between the plates, and B, the energy stored in this capacitor. Part A, we're looking for the electric field between plates. That is the uniform electric field. So we can use V equals to ED. The plate separation is already given. D is the thickness of the air gap, 1.2 millimeters, the separation between the two plates. So we have D, so if we can find the voltage across the two plates, we will be able to get the electric field we want. This is a capacitor, and we know the charges held by the capacitor. So we have Q equals to CV. To find the V, we already have the charge. We just need to find the capacitance. And yes, we do have enough information to find the capacitance, because the capacitance for a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon naught A over D. Epsilon naught is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12. And uh, we got the plate area that's 10 centimeters squared. And we do not want centimeters squared. We need everything to be in standard unit. So we have to replace the centimeters squared with what it is worth in meters squared. So I have to replace the centimeter. One centimeter is 0.01 meter. And because I have to square the centimeter, I have to square the 0.01. And then the plate separation is 1.2 millimeters, so that's 0 0.0012 meter. And this will give us a capacitance that is 7.38 times 10 to the negative 12. And what's the unit for the capacitance? It is a farad. Now we have the capacitance that I can use the Q equals to CV to find the voltage. The charge is 3 nanocoulombs. There's one plate carries positive Q, the other plate carries negative Q. We never add those two together because if we add them, we'll always get zero. So the charge Q is 3 nano, 3 times 10 to the negative ninth. And that equals to C times V, and C is 7.38 times 10 to the negative 12. And so we can find the voltage V, that is 407 volts. Now we can use V equals to ED to find the electric field. The voltage is 407, and we're looking for the electric field when we already know the plate separation is 1.2 millimeters, 0 0.0012 meters. So the electric field is 3.39 times 10 to the fifth, and that will be volts per meter or newtons per coulomb. For part B, we want the energy stored in this capacitor. So the energy stored in a capacitor, that is uh, 1 half QV. Usually we have U equals to QV, but for the energy stored in a capacitor, that's the only time we have 1 half QV. Remember, we got the 1 half because uh, this is the area of a triangle. That's why there's the 1 half height times the base. Depending on which of those three are given, Sometimes uh, you may see people using this equation in different forms. For example, sometimes it can be convenient for us to replace the Q with CV. So this will be 1 half CV times V, which gives us a form that's uh, 1 half CV squared. Sometimes it can be convenient for us to replace the V with uh, Q over C. And this equation will be turned into this 1 half Q and then Q over C. So this gives us a 1 half Q squared over C. In this problem, we already have C, Q, and V. So any of these will work for us. I'm just going to use the 1 half Q, V. So this will be 1 half. The charge is 3 nano. 
the voltage is 407. So this will give me 6.1 times 10 to the negative 7 joules.